Hello, it's Evelyn. Today I'm going to be talking about the anxiety that we can have when we're first coming to that weight room, coming back to that weight room, or honestly just when you're advancing in the weight room and that anxiety is just still there. I just have about seven things to keep in mind or to work with to help reduce that anxiety and help you feel more comfortable going into that weight room and feel comfortable lifting those weights around other people. I personally am one of those people that gets anxious going into that weight room and I want to help you and myself by talking through some of these things that are really beneficial. The first thing is to know that it is common. Uh, lots of people that I've talked to avoid the weight room or don't feel comfortable, don't feel knowledgeable, think people are looking at them while they're working out, judging them. All these things can compile and cause increased anxiety when wanting to go into the weight room. And it's all there and there's lots of people who experience it and sometimes finding comfort in the general public is very beneficial as the first step. So just knowing that it's common should provide some comfort. I hope it does for me sometimes. Um, the next is to find a buddy. If you feel comfortable finding a buddy, then find a buddy. It helps with the accountability. It helps to share possibly that commonality of having anxiety when going into the weight room. You can support each other through it and know that you have someone there who has your back and is there to make sure that everything is going smooth, especially for form, for confidence, for just that overall support. So finding a buddy who also has that weight room goal or is already in the weight room, that's, that's awesome too. The third is to research, learn the basics, figure out form, figure out fun things to do in the weight room, figure out what you want to do, what interests you. Do you want to squat? Do you want a front squat? Do you want a back squat? Do you want a circular squat? Figure out different avenues. Work with a trainer on that too. Um, we're always happy to help. So spend some time researching before you go in so that you know what to expect and what you might enjoy. Don't only don't close yourself off from anything um, though once you're there because sometimes you can think of some creative things to do. The third, or the fourth, sorry, is to have that plan. So once you research, then write some things down. Put some sets, put some reps, put different exercises. If you're doing a back day versus a lower body day, different, different avenues that you can take. Again, a trainer is always there to help. Um, and that's actually number five, is that fitness trainers are there um, in most every gym um, that you probably pay for or at Harley here. We've got fitness trainers everywhere, um, hopefully during the hours that you are visiting the gym as well. Um, feel free to ask any questions. We are here to help. Also, if you ever want to get involved in personal training here at Pilgrim, PDC, um, Judo now, feel free ask us. We'd love to help out. The sixth is to grab some wireless headphones. Now this seems silly, but wireless headphones allow you to have that ease um, to put on some good tunes and block the world out. You can focus on just yourself and if you have some good music, it motivates you, allows you to have some fun. So wireless headphones, some cost $25. It's a good investment just to zone in and only focus on you and block out anything else that's happening. This leads into the seventh and final quick tip. Not, not the last tip or the only tips out there, but just seven quick tips that I, I could come up with from my own experiences and some research and some other people's experiences. So. The seventh one, I think, is one of the most important, and it is reminding yourself that although you think that other people may be in there staring at you, judging you, 
they're probably in their in their own zone working on their own fitness and paying this much attention to you maybe maybe you have the 25 pounds that they want to use but they're not watching you as you do all your moves and judging you and judging your form and I'm hoping that's not it but yeah just reminding yourself that people aren't watching you as much as you think they are um, yeah so I hope these provide some comfort some direction in going towards the weight room thank you all for joining me today if you have any questions as always reach out we are here to help thank you so much enjoy the weight room <laughs>